Hello and good morning to year two's homework project. It's really lovely to be doing this. I'm a little bit nervous and may make a few mighty mistakes, but I'm sure you'll hear them and spot them as we go along. So I wanted to start by saying if you are playing outside or learning, don't forget maybe your sunglasses or a sun hat or some sun cream. I'm today going to run through your English, your maths and your reading project. So here goes. First thing. The English homework I've set you this week is to do a retail of Jack in the Beanstalk, but not any retail, a twist. You might decide to introduce a new character. Or girls out there, you might not want it to be Jack, it could be Jenny. You may decide that instead of meeting a giant at the top of the beanstalk, it could be a mystery unicorn or a fierce dragon. Have a go. You might decide not to change the characters, but to twist the setting. Jack doesn't arrive at a market square, he arrives at a wild zoo. Or even, he arrives at the school canteen with lots of busy running wild children. You decide. Don't put too many twists in and try and remember to include all of our year two learning so far. I've been having a little recap, so there's lots to think about. So, noun phrases, Year two spellings, variety of conjunctions, commas in lists, maybe some speech. But most of all, remember your senses. What can Jack see, smell or taste? Give it a go. We can't wait to see what it might be. Now, over to maths. And I've set up a little station right here. First of all, you need to create your own popcorn box for popcorn maths. I've been a little bit lazy, but I'm sure you're going to be more creative when doing your maths project. Inside, you're going to put some popcorn pieces. So, you're going to need two pieces of different coloured paper. On one colour, you're going to write some numbers up to 30. Your favourite ones, 13. And you screw them up and you put them in your popcorn box. Remember to include at least 20 numbers. On your other piece of paper, you're going to write some symbols. I'm going to start mine off with just a simple add and subtract question. So I will put my add and pop it into my popcorn box. Now, just for those parents out there that are thinking, what strategies shall we use? Here is some I'm going to have a go at. So I take a popcorn piece and you need to take out two numbers and a symbol now children you will need to decide when you've got your numbers so i have 12 27 and my symbol is takeaway so i need to think about the strategies i know of year two which number do i need to start with Always start with the largest number when doing subtraction. So I've got 27, subtract, 12. Then I need to think about the strategy I might use. So you could use jottings. So I have two tens and seven ones. I now need to take away 12. So I've got one ten to cross out and two ones, and then I add up what I'm left. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and my answer would be 15. And then you continue to make up your own sums until your popcorn maths has finished. If you find this a little bit easier to, you could challenge yourself. Can you make the numbers up to 40 or 50? Could you change your symbols to times or divide? I really look forward to seeing some of your maths popcorn challenge as we go through the week. Now, I'm getting a little bit hot and a little bit thirsty, so as we would recommend, take a break. So I'm going to have a little snack break in between my learning. So today's snack break for me is, I've been very lucky, I have a little can of Sprite and my apple. So you could take some breaks throughout your learning children to have plenty of time out. Finally, your last activity is to build a creative den. I did try my best year too. And then get inside and choose 
your favourite storybook. I went with a Jeremy Strong book. And then in there, you might decide to get your parents to take a picture and send them in. You might decide to use different books or read in different places. I'm very excited to know Miss Jones and Mrs Beltra too, to see where your secret reading den might be. Can't wait to see all of your lovely learning, so please send it in to East Park, Year 2. Oh, my motor mistake already. Year 2, parents at eastparkacademy.com. Speak to you very soon. Take care and stay safe.